Welcome to our next video. We talked about capital asset pricing model. The capital asset pricing model tries to evaluate the expected return of a given share. We can invest into the given share and we get the expected value of this return. And now we have two, we have like different possibilities. We can invest into the share, we can invest into a risk-free asset. So if we do so, if we invest into a risk-free asset, we get R index F. But we don't, like we want to invest into our share. So now there is the expected market risk premium given by the expected return of the average market depicted by, for example, Dow Jones Industrial Average. So expected value, the expected value of this return of the market minus the return of the risk-free asset gives us the expected market risk premium. And if we multiply this expected market risk premium by better, by better of this given share, we get the premium for bearing the stock's market risk. But of course, we need to understand what is given by beta. Say if, if beta is 1.3, we mean to say that the given share is 30% more volatile than the market, than the overall market. So if we add this premium for bearing the stock's market risk to the return of the risk-free asset, we get the expected return, we get the expected return of our given share. That's important to understand. Thank you for watching. Oh, 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 oh,